So what's one thing in your opinion that can make relationships better? Well, I think people are like with romantic, well, any relationship, romantic, familial, friendships, like people are really looking for people they get along well with, like, oh, we go do this together, or we really like have a lot of fun together. So they're really looking for somebody who like they have something in common with or whatever to get along well with. But one key thing is to learn or to have a partner who you disagree well with. Um, because that's huge. Like if you, every time you have a disagreement, it becomes this huge blow up and this just like messy, dysfunctional thing. I don't care how much you get along, like that's not a healthy relationship. So I think people need to put more emphasis on, like I always look forward to the first disagreement because that's like where you're going to be you're gonna be made or broken in the relationship. Like if if we can't have a relationship like, or sorry, a, a disagreement like adults, if we can't just have a conversation about what happened, if you're like yelling at me or like I feel like you don't love me anymore just because we don't agree, then that's like not a real connection. You know, like some people with my marriage, like we went to see a therapist when we were super new in our marriage and we made an agreement about how, how we were going to argue well, like how we were going to argue. And when we got to our first argument after that meeting, he was like, oh, well, fuck that. I don't care. Like, I don't care what we said. So I should have just been done then because that's literally how our conflicts still happen to this day. Like we're still having conflicts because we have kids. So we're tied together for a while. But it's like disagreeing well there should be more emphasis and there should be more like we should be taught how to have a healthy disagreement with someone mm. and so how do how do we teach people to have those well, in school, so in school, I'm learning um, about having repair conversations. So it's really about bringing empathy in and really understanding that it's not like people take things so personally. Like, um, yeah, people just think like, oh, this person did this to me. But really, they just did something and you don't like what they did. Um, it could bring conflict into the relationship. But you could just talk about it. So you can try and empathize why this happened or how they're feeling about it. Um, it does take a lot of maturity, which unfortunately a lot of people don't have. Um, but we have to like take a lot of this, like the aggression and the pain. And a lot of it goes back to childhood because a lot of times we're triggering each other back and forth. Like I was dating this guy who, he grew up and he always felt like everybody was lying to him. So he would get triggered all the time when anything, like any little thing seemed off to him, he would think that somebody was lying. But my trigger is being called a liar. So it's like, we were, I'm like, oh, okay, well, we're going to be triggering each other all the time, which actually wasn't the like ending of our relationship. But people are constantly being triggered and they don't understand where their wounds come from. So I think everything goes back to doing like inner child work.